There's the fuel of the future. 25 years of rust on it. In the late 70s, I was sitting in a garage and I read an article about a University of Tennessee professor that converted a four-cylinder Metro and they ran it on ammonia. And I thought, you know, ammonia, that's the easy way to do hydrogen. And so I did a lot of research and found out that ammonia had been used as a fuel to run engines since the mid-1800s and that streetcars ran on ammonia up until 1905. And then I found out that Rudolf Diesel made ammonia engines before he made diesel engines. So I went to Los Angeles and hired some engineers and brought them to Canada and we converted this thing right here and a diesel pickup both to run on ammonia in 1980. And then we drove this thing from Edmonton to Ottawa to Montreal to Toronto and got our world record for distance for alternative fuels on, on hydrogen-based fuel. Tonight, back to the future. Drive a hybrid? Think you're pretty smart? Well, your vehicle may be fuel efficient, but ahead of the curve? Sorry. That prize goes to Greg Vezina. 25 years ago, he found fame by getting his Chevy Impala to run on something he called hydrofuel. So what happened to Vezina and his Chevy? Right, well, here we are. It's the first time I've been in this thing in about 10 years. Greg Vezina fancies himself a man ahead of the times, and he was 25 years ago. He retrofitted his 1981 Chevy Impala into a car for the future, fueled by what Vezina named hydrofuel, essentially ammonia, which is a mix of hydrogen with a little nitrogen. The exhaust was clean and it was cheaper to run his car on hydrofuel than on gasoline. Even the energy minister of the day took it for a spin and said he liked it. So did the governor general. All in all, Vezina thought he had a winner. Yeah! Oh, Fast forward to today. Whoa! That's great, it's open. There's the fuel of the future. 25 years of rust on it. Vezina's vehicle sits idle. It still starts and Vezina still believes it's the cure for the world's energy woes. 30 years ago we did our 1981 shove and pallet and ran on 100% ammonia. Um, history wasn't ready, the world wasn't ready, today the world is. This is prototype number two, this is the diesel ammonia multi-fuel system, this is prototype number three, and this is the gasoline ammonia multi-fuel system. So it's much more efficient than other fuels, it's 110 percent efficiency, 120 percent net power output, it works better than other fuels. There's no carbon in it, so there's no oil viscosity breakdown, very little wear and tear on engines. The U.S. government is taking a serious look at ammonia as a fuel. The DOE has done a major study that found that you could fuel 80% of the vehicles in the United States in the 100 largest cities using the existing infrastructure. Ammonia right now is stored for six months and then used by the farmers in two or three weeks. So we could fuel all the vehicles we have using the existing storage capacity if we make it throughput. There's two major international studies on ammonia safety and handling that find it as safe as, if not far safer than gasoline. The real advantage of ammonia is, is that we can make it from non-hydrocarbon sources. It's totally green. There's no emissions except nitrous oxide. It'll increase your maintenance, your range, your power, your output, and it's half the price. In five years, we could run everything on ammonia and have carbon negative fuel, fuel that actually takes carbon out of the atmosphere in its manufacture and eliminates carbon when you make it from coal or oil. You take the carbon out and you make black soil fertilizer out of the pollution. It works better than other fuels. It's much more efficient than other fuels and it's half the price. Fuel that actually takes carbon out of the atmosphere